Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so you've got the completion card. So whatever projects you've been doing has come to a successful end. You've got um, Venus there sitting in Aries. So you have been very focused on yourself or focused on your career, focused on your own energies. And... Uh, you know, you have uh, completed everything very successfully. So um, there's some kind of celebration as well. And it's brought in some stability as well with this uh, four of rods here. You've got the um, depletion card uh, rising above it. So that maybe this is on your mind. Uh, you, you're feeling very emotionally restricted. You've got Saturn sitting here and Pisces over here. So, you know, maybe you feel as though... Uh, you know, everything has reached a successful end, maybe, uh, you know, a little out of puff, if you like, um, you know, because maybe you were very, very busy now uh, that things have come to an end. You're feeling as though, you know, um, whatever you were doing suddenly um, ha really took a lot of your energy. It really depleted you. That's why there's that depletion card over here. Almost like a beached whale. You can see no more energy to actually even move forward. And you're feeling a little bit, little bit emotionally drained after going through this particular problem. Or after dealing with this, um, whatever project you were doing where you focused all your energies, you are feeling a bit emotionally drained after that. So you've got the child, uh, create a spark, you've got some new idea and new plan. So after things have finished, you want to do something new and you've got, you're bubbling with ideas over here uh, with this child. And, you know, some brand new idea is going to be coming to you soon after all of this. So you've got in the last uh, few months being very focused, very centered. You've got a lot of attention uh, um, that you put in a lot of your energy was put into this particular project. You can see this person is very focused on this light between their hands. So it was a very creative project. And because it Mars is in Aries over there, it looks like you are very, very, very focused. So you put a lot of your emotional energy, a lot of your time, your effort uh, into this particular project. And you've got integrity over there, and this is the nine of fire. So, you, you know, it was a lot of hard work. Um, you've got uh, the... Um, moon sitting here in Sagittarius over here. So it was some kind of big project that you were doing and it required a lot of your intention and you were very, very busy doing this. And it was a lot of, there were a lot of obstacles and a lot of uh, problems that you faced and you needed to sort that out. You had taken on a lot of responsibilities and burdens as well. So you, you might have been the sole person that was in charge of this particular project or this particular thing that you, you've done. And a lot of energy went into it. And maybe this is the reason why you are feeling so emotionally drained at this particular moment. So going into the future, you've got that new card, uh, that new spark, creative spark coming in. So it's something new beginning for you over here. And you've got the mother of creativity over here with the wind uh, card over here. And it's, it's um, ruled by Gemini here. You can see there's a lot of mental energy that's going to be coming in. So you can see this brand new uh, idea coming in. It's now taking root over here. And, um, you know, you are now determined to get things done. You've got this new idea and you're determined to make it happen. This is uh, the queen of swords. So, um, you know, you've gone through a lot of problems and you've got this new idea and you're now determined to get this show on the road or get this project going, uh, starting afresh again, really. You've got the Ace of Seas over here. So this is the Ace of Cups. There might be a new uh, offer coming in for you. Uh, you're definitely entering a new emotional cycle uh, and you've got a new uh, perspective on things as well with this Ace of Cups. So there could be a new offer coming in. There could be an offer for study or an offer for teaching. Um, but this is also some kind of, it could even be a new job offer that comes in that makes you very, very happy. So whatever you're deciding to start, uh, you're, you know, you've ended something now, you've finished that particular cycle. There's been a lot of success with it, but now you've got some new ideas that you're going to put into place now and you're very determined to get that going. And it looks like, um, you know, whatever new thing that you start is going to bring you a lot of happiness. So you are going to be starting something brand you soon so those are the energies for that week so I'm going to do use the um, mango tarot for the main weed So 
So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Emperor card over here. And this is you being very organized, taking a lot of control over the situation, being in a leadership position uh, and being, uh, you know, very, very, dip, you know, diplomatic, organized, but in control and in charge. So the energies of this card is usually Aries um, or um, Scorpio, because it's a card that has got the energies of Mars going through it. And this is being, you know, being very focused and being very much in charge, um, being in a very, very high position and uh, being in control of a lot of things as well, managing your finances quite well, managing situations very, very well. And this is where you are at the moment. You could be dealing with an Aries or a um, uh, Scorpion, uh, Scorpio person as well, um, but it looks like this is your energy more than whom you're dealing with. So you're very much in charge. You can see there's the throne over there. Uh, you're a very proactive person. This person's not sitting on the throne. They're doing something. And, you know, this is, they're getting themselves centered and very focused. So that's where you are at now. You know exactly what you want and you're going for it. So you've got the Fool card, and I spoke about new beginnings starting with you. You're letting go of all that past. You can see the swords have fallen into the water. They're throwing the swords into the water. So you're getting rid of all those difficult problems and situations, and you're starting afresh, starting brand new. And you can see even with that Fool walking away from that cliff, walking away from that difficult situation where you were disempowered, and now you're taking back that control. You're turning your back on all those difficulties. You can see that even this Fool seems to be walking away from, from those swords, so it seems like, you know, you're getting rid of all those problems. You are not going to be dealing with them anymore. It looks like whatever problems you faced, uh, this is the card that usually comes before this uh, Five of Swords. And the Five of Swords is about uh, betrayal and nasty, vindictive people that you're dealing with. You're getting rid of all of that from your life and you're moving on. Whatever they, they did, they caused a lot of turbulence, but you're now taking control of that situation. And you are now in charge and you are moving away from it. It looks like there's somebody there also to give you a hand. Somebody that's going to help you as well. Uh, focus on whatever you want. And you do seem very, very focused with this Emperor card. So you are getting control and taking back your power. You've got the Judgment card over here. So in the last year or so, you have made a change. Uh, you have... Uh, taken responsibilities for all your actions. You are now um, taking all the lessons that you learned from the past and you have, maybe there was some kind of legal situation that you dealt with. You've cut out all the things that are not serving you anymore and you are moving on. So you reached that uh, fork in the road. You made um, a decision and you decided that you are going to go uh, follow your own pathway and follow your own dreams. So it looks like with the judgment card, you have um, let go of things from the past um, let go of the old situation and you're taking those lessons that you learned and you're moving forward. You got the six of cups over here. So this could be that, you know, you have revisited uh, the past or somebody from the past came in to help you, give you a hand. Maybe there was an offer that was made to you. This could also be that you've been spending a lot more time with family or children, uh, you know, um, and uh, maybe also reviewing your past quite a bit. Uh, so looking to the past for the lessons. And with the judgment card, it's also been, you know, reviewing that past, learning from all the lessons, all the things that you went through, and taking the lessons, only the positive lessons with you. And you are definitely taking the positive lessons because you're chucking out or throwing out that negativity, and you are moving forward to make a brand new start. So you've got the Princess of Swords over here. So you might have dealt with some kind of legal decision. You can see the sword is really, really big. So you've cut out people from your past. You've just completely isolated yourself from those people and you are not willing to deal with them anymore. The Princess of Swords, having dealt with uh, maybe some kind of difficult legal situation and uh, having received um, some kind of uh, legal decision as well. So you could have gone through some legal problem as well. So going into the future, you are still dealing with a little bit of... Um, disruptive energies. Whatever situation you are in is still very, very challenging. There's a lot of competition. There's a lot of people, you know, giving you flack about the whole situation. Maybe people have got their opinions and they're voicing it. And, you know, maybe you're going against the grain and not everybody's happy about it. So you are being faced with a lot of challenges, but you will be able to conquer it. You have what it takes to actually sort through any kind of problem that you're dealing with. You know, it's also the card that advises, you know, pick your battles wisely. Don't get into arguments with people. Walk away from things that are going to be draining your energies as well. So what's happening with you? You've got the Ten of Swords. So it looks like you did feel very betrayed. Uh, you can see this woman is very feeling, you're feeling a bit disempowered 
right now as though you have no control but this is the ten of swords so this is the end of that situation once you take back that authority uh, you know um, you're still reflecting on all that misery that was caused to you whatever that situation was it was a very very nasty situation um, you know there was a lot of uh, negative toxic energy that you were dealing with and you're still very very upset with it you feel like uh, you know you didn't have any control about what people did and a lot of people stabbed you in the back or stabbed you in the heart even um, and you know you were very very upset about it you're still dealing with that but this cycle is now ending so you are getting away from that feeling uh, you will be able to conquer it it's something that you have to walk away from it is something that you can't uh, you know whatever happened you've got to leave it behind you and move forward and it looks like you are making plans for the future. You can see over here, this uh, is the Three of Wands. So having uh, an idea about what you want to do for the future, getting some stability back in your life, but also reflecting a lot on the past. Uh, this is about waiting for things to happen. So you have put out some pro some projects and you're waiting for uh, to see what comes off it, but also reflecting on the past um, a lot, learning those lessons. So it looks like, you know, you're taking all those um, uh, lessons and using it as a stepping stone to success and this is the way you're going to move forward now you've got the death card over here so your plan is to just leave everything behind and walk away from it so you want a brand new thing to happen something happened quite dramatically uh, or drastically in your life and you are now ready to move on you're actually seeing the light it's almost as though you're seeing that light at the end of the tunnel finally so going into the future, you've got the Princess of Wands over here, the Hermit, and the Prince of Swords over here. The Princess of Wands, you can see her, her taking control, taking a power back. She's riding a tiger. So you are uh, showing people your strength of character, and you are moving forward. Now with this Princess of Wands, there could be some travel for you. You could be starting a new job somewhere else. Uh, you could be relocating home as well. Uh, and also dealing with a lot of foreign people as well. So a lot of communication coming in over here. But you're definitely somebody that's in control. You've got the hermit over here, so spending a lot of time by yourself and being very focused on your work as well. And this could be a new study coming in for you or new, a new course coming in for you, an opportunity for new learning. And this is also going in within yourself and finding the answers within yourself. This is a card that is ruled by Virgo, so you are very, very much, uh, you know, standing on your own two feet and finding the answers for yourself. You've got the Prince of Swords over here. There's some kind of legal news coming in as well, uh, and it's going to allow you to cut away that past. So there's this is a resolution, a legal resolution of any kind of problems, and it's going to allow you to move forward. So the news comes in pretty quickly with this um, Prince of Swords. This could also be signing new contracts as well. Uh, maybe it's a new job contract that you're going to be signing, but it's definitely moving on and cutting away that past. You can see this man's looking to the past, and he's got the sword in his hand. So you are dealing with that past uh, situation, and you're dealing it maybe you you had a past problem and you're dealing it uh dealing with it on legal grounds as well but there's definitely waiting for some kind of decision to come in and that will come in quite soon as well so i'm going to draw in uh some cards from the guardian angel tarot and this is for the oracle read So the first card is positive recognition and it says congratulations, your plans have worked out perfectly and now it's time for you to shine. Br brilliant new ideas will present themselves to you and success is all but assured. So express yourself openly and honestly knowing that those surrounding you are trustworthy. Be open to unexpected opportunities. So some brand, something brand new coming in for you, an opportunity coming in and they say please be open to um unexpected opportunities you've got some brand new ideas some really good ideas and it looks like success is coming your way or has also come has come your way uh, but uh, more success is going to be coming your way you might be getting some kind of message some kind of offer coming in so the messenger of emotion says this is the beginning of a new emotional experience that will grow into something deeper you can receive a message expressing feelings that you didn't even know were developing a social invitation that will soon be on its way to you there's a person involved who's very gentle and loving and uh, with only the kindest of intentions so there could be a social invitation coming in for you so there could be some kind of love offer coming in for you or even some kind of offer uh, on an emotional front coming in for you an invitation of some sort uh, it's good for you to get out there you've been working very very hard so it's time for you to take a little bit of a break you've got the ace of emotions so this message message comes in and then you've got the ace of emotion which is the ace of cups 
So this is the Page of Cups coming in over here, giving you that invitation. And the Ace of Emotions says, uh, this cherub is announcing a wonderful new emotional experience coming to you. You might meet someone new that makes your heart flutter or your, or your current relationship will experience a reawakening. It is also possible that your intuitive abilities will be greatly increased by your open heart. So it looks like there's some kind of invitation coming in that might end up uh, beginning a new relationship for you. So there's some love coming in for you here, uh, coming in in the form of uh, an invitation, an offer. And it looks like it's going to start a brand new relationship for you. And it looks like you're going to get recognition for everything you've done as well. So a really good positive outcome for whatever you've been going through. And it looks like there might be a brand new relationship coming your way as well. So you have achieved a lot of things. You're taking control back. You're taking your power back. You're getting through difficulties. Um, it looks like, um, you know... Uh, you might have a few challenges that you will be facing, but all in all, it looks like you're going to be very successful. There's some kind of legal case that you're uh, waiting for, uh, some legal news to come in, but it looks like you're very, very focused, or you will be very, very focused on your work, taking that power back, and it looks like success is going to be coming your way. So whatever that you, you dealt with in the past, just leave it in the past and move forward. So I hope this reading resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.